Welcome to this tutorial where we will build a simple workflow using Process Studio. Let us take a look at the use case for this workflow. In this use case, we will read sales data from a CSV file, do some processing on the data by calculating the total price, and finally, we will output the results to an Excel file. Let us take a look at the input CSV file. This is our sample input file. You can create a CSV file in an editor of your choice and save it as salesdata.csv. Here we have four columns, customer, product, quantity, and unit price fields. Now we'll proceed to Process Studio to build our workflow. We're now in Process Studio development environment. In order to build the workflow, we will do File, New, Workflow. Double click on the workspace area to open up the configuration dialog for the workflow. This is the workflow properties dialog. Here we'll specify a name for the workflow. Let us call it sales data workflow. Click on OK. We can save our workflow. We can choose the path where we would like to save the workflow. Click on save. The workflow is stored in XML with extension PSW, which stands for Process Studio Workflow. Our workflow will have three steps. The first step is an input step, which will read sales data from a CSV file. The second step is a calculator step, which will do processing on the input data and compute the total price. And the final step will write the output to an Excel file. Now let us drag steps into our workflow. We drag CSV file input. We will double click on this step. This opens up the configuration dialog for the step. We will call it read sales data. We can browse for the file name which we want to choose for our input. For example, salesdata.csv. Currently, we have provided a hard coded path for the file. We'll see how to address this in our ensuing tutorials. Here, we'll click on Get Fields. So we can see we have four fields. Customer, Product, Quantity, and Unit Price. Process Studio deduces that there are four fields based on the header row in the CSV file. Let us see this. We can see that Header Row Present option is checked. Now let us see what a field is. A workflow always deals with one or more rows, each having one or more columns. Every column is termed as a field. A field has a name and a data type. Fields are central to the execution of workflows. Now we can preview our input file. This is our input file with customer, product, quantity, and unit price fields and all the corresponding rows. In this way, we have configured our first step, read sales data. We move on to the next step where we'll do some processing on this input data. So we will drag and drop our calculator step. Now we'll create a connection between these two steps. The connection is called a hop. Here, we'll choose main output of step, which means that we're passing on all the rows from the read sales data step to the calculator step. Now, right click on the calculator step and choose edit. Here, we'll add a new field called total price. The calculation for this field will be A times B, where field A is quantity and field B is unit price. So total price is the product of quantity and unit price. Click on OK. This completes the calculator step. Now we'll drag in our third step, which is the output step. This is the Microsoft Excel output step. Create a connection from the calculator step to the Excel output step. Let's double click on the Excel output step. Here we'll choose the file name for the output. We'll browse for it. Let's give the name as Sales Data Output. Here too, we have provided a hard-coded path for the file name. 
Process Studio provides the extension XLS. We'll check if the file name is correct. Sales Data Output .xls. Here we can note that Add File Names to Result option is checked. We will understand the significance of this in our Sales Data Process tutorial. Let us go to the Fields tab. We'll click on Get Fields. Here we have the previous fields Customer, Product, Quantity, Unit Price, and we have the new field called Total Price. Let us click on OK. Process Studio does not need to have Microsoft Excel to be installed to read from or write to an Excel file. Now we'll save the workflow. We can proceed to run our workflow. In the Run Options window, we can specify the log level that we require in case we need to debug the workflow if there are any errors in the workflow steps. Here, we'll choose the basic log level and run the workflow. After the workflow is executed, a green mark appears on the top right corner of every successful step. We can preview our input. This is our complete output. We also have the total price field. Now we can check our Excel output file, salesdataoutput.xls. This is our Excel output file, salesdataoutput.xls. Let us view its contents. It has all the fields, including the total price field. Now we can go back to Process Studio. In this way, we have built our first workflow, Sales Data Processing workflow, in Process Studio successfully. Process Studio is a development environment. Workflows built in Process Studio need to be published to Automation Edge Server eventually, so that they can be executed on the agents. In this tutorial, we have given absolute paths for our input CSV file and output Excel file. These paths are specific to the machine where Process Studio is used. The workflows that we build in Process Studio may be published by many individual tenants on various instances of Automation Edge. Hence, the absolute path is not relevant on Automation Edge. We'll be using internal Process Studio variables to take care of this. We'll see this in the following tutorials. Therefore, in this particular use case, we will not publish the workflow onto Automation Edge. In this tutorial, we have seen how to build and execute a simple workflow in Process Studio.